tutorial, I will be showing you how you can simulate 3D fireworks using the Python module vPython. We will also be learning about the 3D functions for some of the shapes we will be using in our program, like the function for a 3D parabola or a sphere. Previously, I made a video on how you can simulate fireworks in 2D form. Now, let's jump to it. First, let me run this program so we can have a look at our result. I can also rotate this around so we can have a better look at it. You can see these are 3D fireworks. Now I have another program. This program will have a bit more realistic fireworks. You can see these fireworks do appear more attractive. The colors here are random. So are their positioning, and so are their size. As usual, after we learn the bakes, basics as to how we can create these, we can get more creative and we can display some more unusual shapes for fireworks. Here is an example. You can see I have a parabola, this is a cylinder, and I have some other shapes like a sphere. When we have so many fireworks, it may get a bit slow. Here you can see I have this parabola shape. Now let's have a look at some of the formulas or functions for some 3D shapes. Here I have these 3D shapes. My 3D parabola, a sphere, an ellipse. This is a plane, and here I have a cylinder. The function for a 3D parabola is z equals x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. The, the function for a sphere is x squared plus y squared plus z squared should equal to r squared. For an ellipse, it's x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared should equal to 1. And here I have my simple function for a plane, z equals ax plus by. Finally, a cylinder is r square equals x square plus z square. So you can see this side is not actually larger than this one. It's just closer to us. Now here I have my general form for a function. ax square plus by square plus cz square plus exy plus fz 
I mean plus F Y Z plus G X Z plus H X plus I Y plus J Z plus K equals zero. Now any of these functions here can be defined by this general function. For example, for the sphere here, if we want to define it using this function, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 1, c equal to 1, and here we have k equals negative r squared. One more example would be for this cylinder, we have a equals 1, b equals 0, c equal 1, and k equals negative r squared. And finally, for this plane, we have a equals 0, b equals 0, c equals 0, e equals 0, f equals 0, g equals 0, h equals a, I, let's see, i equals b, and k equals negative, I mean, and j equals negative 1. Now, let's have a look at our Python program. Here I have the code for the second set of fireworks I showed you. So it's the one with the sphere fireworks, but it's sp the sparks are spiky. So from vPython, I import everything. Here you can see the rest of them. Now, you may have to install PlaySound and vPython if you haven't before, and if it doesn't come into your, come um, with your Python editor. Here you can see something that in my previous video we already discussed. So I define a function. It will play the sound shoot.mp3. This is in my current folder. If it's not in the current folder, you will have to type in the whole address. Here I define a random, a random square. This is where our sparks will shoot into the air. So I'm returning a vector. Random circle, r equals 1. Here I have my angle. So over here, let me just go back up. I define an angle. I times random open bracket, close bracket, because I want our fireworks to explode at random points in the sky. Here I define a function that, here I define a function for a parabola. This is where they will shoot into the air. While true, a1 equals threading dot thread, target equals shoot. Now threading will basically let Python perform more than one task at a time. So we can, when we go down, we have I start these things, so instead of waiting for one to finish, they will start. They will start these tasks when we tell them to. And let me just go back up. Here you can see I'm defining more variables. C, my C variables are basically for the color of the fireworks. They equal to a random number, which I will put into the RGB scale. So they will give us random, random colored fireworks. So C11, C12, C13. These are all for firework number one. Here you can see I'm defining the RGB for firework number two. Now, let me just go back down here. And here you can see I'm defining my fireworks. While x is smaller than 1, x plus equals 0 0.01, rate 200 will let our animation go 200 frames per second. Here, I'm changing the position of firework 1. I use this function I defined, which will return a parabola. So here's where they shoot into the air. And 
So here they all shot into the air, and when we're done, we jump out of this while loop. Now, they all shot into the air in the shape of a parabola, and I make the sparks invisible, so we can start exploding our fireworks. Here I define all these lists. Now, let me just go back here. In this for loop, I append things to each of the lists. So this for loop is for firework number one. I'm appending, here you can see the function I defined earlier. And here I append, pyramid will return a pyramid. So it's from vPython, because you see I want pyramids instead of spheres to be our sparks. Here I have my size. This is the length. So the length will be how, sh like how tall each pyramid is. The more the length, the greater the length is, the spikier it will be like. Now let me just go there. Here you see I have my axis. And the axis must be accordingly so that they will all point outward. We don't want our pyramids to point inward or something. I do the same thing for all of the, my other fireworks. Here I start the exploding sound, b1.start. So you can see I have b equals threading.thread, .thread, target equals explode, and explode I defined here. So play the sound explode. So I have three exploding sounds. Now over here, while x is smaller than 0 0.95, rate 2000, in this for loop, you can see what I did here. I am changing the color of our fireworks so that there will be a bit more effect. And I am also changing the position a bit. Now, down here, I am making all of our fireworks invisible so that we can start all over again. So they didn't really disappear, we just made them invisible. So we go back up and we start more, we start shooting more fireworks and more. Now let me run this one more time. Hmm, I better run it again because sometimes this vPython does this to us. If you want these fireworks to travel faster, all you have to do is change the rate. So you can see they are they are exploding out. Now we call visible equals false, so it seems like they disappeared. Now, for the first first program I showed you, everything would be easier since we won't have to control which way the spheres are pointing. Over here, they are pyramids, so we have to control that. And for our hybrid fireworks, so you can see we have all these parabolas and cylinders, all we have to do is change some functions here and there, and you will get the result I got. So I'll just run this hybrid one one more time. Here you can see I have my ellipse.
this is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is March 7th, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.